Hey y'all, welcome to our April 2022 live stream right down here in the good old basement bourbon bar. And hey, look who showed up. <laughs> look who came back from the golf, the golf, was it a tournament? Golf, right. well, golf trip. Golf trip. <laughs> How'd that go? Uh, it was a great time. Uh, too many late nights to uh, <laughs> golf real well, but had a blast. How long have you been going? He's, this is my brother Kent, by the way, for those of you who have not been with us in one of our live streams. I love it when he's down here. He's got a lot more bourbon experience than I do. We're going to be doing some blind tasting, so I love doing it with him. Back to the golf thing. Myrtle Beach, right? Myrtle Beach. So how many years? Um, I have went, I believe, five or six, uh, but the guy, Brian, which I believe he's watching. Hey, Brian. Um, he's been running the trip for 34 years, and it's the most organized thing I've ever seen. Um, how many got guys? to show up to golf. How this many year, guys? I had 24 golf? guys. I had wow. Four guys this year. That's a lot. I've been on some golf trips, and only I think eight was max. Yeah, it's a, it's a great trip. I went trip. to Arizona years ago. It's a great trip. Wow, that's amazing. People are people are under the impression that this was going to be a Kent's bar, <laughs> but we're not yes. at Kent's bar. What, what happened? <laughs> That's the, no, hang on a second. That's the reason sure, I told Kent to be up here when we started the show. I'm sure Brian's scratching his head right now. Going, Wait a minute. <laughs> That's why I wanted Kent up here with me when we started. That's why I introduced him quickly. Because as you recall, if you tuned in our last <clears throat> live video and a few other times that I have mentioned, this month we were supposed to do the live show at Kent's brand new bar in his basement. But... <laughs> Take it away. Had to be postponed a month because uh, what I found out is I'm a decent framer and trimmer. Little experience there. A lot of experience drywall and paint. Not a problem. But the whole finish up process, evidently not my cup of tea because <laughs> I ordered a lot of things wrong. Had to reorder. Um, just the finish up process is not worked out. Yeah, the way and, I and you tell me a lot of your finishes came in incorrect or right, even. Yeah. Even faulty. Some, well, some, of them were, some faulty. were faulty. My shelf brackets were faulty. <laughs> yeah. uh, I had to reorder those. Some of the things were just uh, some of the lighting, especially, or stuff that I just yeah. didn't think about hey. and had to redo. That um, happens all the time. And I just wanted it to be right before I let anybody see it. I guess I wanted it to look look right. Yeah, hey, that's good. And it it's, it wasn't there. <laughs> so I don't, I don't blame you at all. Uh, almost there though. Next month. So. It says wife say no. <laughs> <laughs> no wife say so. hurry up and get done. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. So at any rate, you're pretty confident then the end of oh, May. Yeah. yeah, I'm not worried about that. So we'll we'll be doing we'll be doing the end of May. We'll be at Kent's house. We'll be doing uh, I might as well let the cat out of the bag, yeah. huh? What we're gonna be doing down there is Kent has an amazing collection of Blantons. How many? I've got seven right now. Uh, Go ahead and talk about it. Look, I, I'm actually, all kinds of different blends that I don't even know anything about. To tell you I'm true. actually two. I mean, there's a bunch <laughs> out there. For, yeah, I mean, most of you probably even know there's there's multitudes of them that that you could collect. But as far as a yearly release, the same releases every year. Uh, I'm short the uh, Paris release and the Poland release to have all of them. That's amazing. Uh, and I'm hoping to have those before uh, before the show at the end of the month. I'm supposed to get them next month. Wow. Yeah, and, and he's been gracious to the show uh, to agree to open them so that we can taste them on the show. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to blind taste them. Is that what you think? If it's going to be your show, your day. <laughs> Man, I don't right? know. I, uh, <clears throat> I'll let him decide. I mean, uh, you've never even had the, any of uh, them. They're not opened, right, to this no, point? No, so you haven't uh, had any of them, right? No. So I'll leave that up to Kent. If we're just going to taste them one by one, see what we think about them, we're going to blind taste them. But anyways, that's what we're going to be doing at the end of May at Kent's house. Guaranteed. You heard it. He guarantees. Maybe you can uh, talk to your Patreon group and let them decide yeah. how we do it. Oh, yeah, we can do that too. And that brings me to my next point, but that's how we came up with what, with what we are doing tonight. Kent got a hold of me about a week and a half ago or so and just said it's just not going to work out. And that's fine. We, we want it to be right. We want him to be comfortable. We want it to look great when we get down there. So I contacted our Patreons and, and asked them if they could do an impromptu uh, live stream. And uh, they helped us tremendously trying to decide what route we wanted to go for tonight's show. So if you want to be involved in any way, shape, or form with the Patreon program, Trenton has a lot of fantastic stuff going on there. 
You can find it on most uh, videos in the description. Hit the link. It'll take you right to it. and It'll explain everything right there. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can always uh, get a hold. What's the, what's the email, Trent? SLBdrinks at gmail.com. Yeah, that one. SLBdrinks at gmail. remember there, Kurt. Yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> there's so many things, you know. You get my age. You get past two or three things to he remember. He is pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> I, made it, I made it tough for him. <laughs> yeah, he is a bit younger, but... I've always been known as the better looking one, so I'll take that. So anyways, what we've come up with tonight, with the help of our Patreons, thank you. If any of you folks are on the live show tonight, personal thanks from me and Trenton for helping us to figure out what we're going to do. So Kent and I and Trenton are going to be blind tasting barrel proof bourbons. That's what we're going to be doing tonight. So I'm a little bit nervous. I, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. I've been around my brother many times. He can handle his bourbon, that's for sure. <laughs> but I've got six glasses out in front of me here tonight, honey, that uh, barrel-proof bourbon. So I, I'm just hoping to get to the end without having to need Food a piece. Food is ready if you need it. <laughs> without having to have a piece of pizza or something, <laughs> one way or another. So anyways, before I get to the, uh, I'm going to show you the bottles that we're going to blind taste. But let me just tell you who's here. We always do this every time. When we do our live stream, I just like for people to come down here. We like more of a, a bit of a party atmosphere, so a lot of friends and family join us. Of course, we have my brother Kent, we have Trenton and Michelle here. Michelle's manning the computer and doing what she does on all the, all the feed. Is that what you call it? Good job. Good job. Oh, I, know. I got that one. My lovely wife is here. My daughter Kayla is here tonight for the first time. This is her first live stream, isn't it? It is. Yeah. My, my daughter Kayla here for the first time. My brother brought a couple friends, Jason and Carrie. Thank you for coming. Thanks, did, I see, did I see Harry come in? Yeah, he did. Oh, hey, hey, I thought I saw you, man. That's our good buddy Harry, owner of Bees Liquor in Holbert. Thanks for coming down, man. Appreciate it. Sorry, folks. Oh, you're all right. No, don't worry about that. So that's who's with us tonight. We're ready to go. So you ready to introduce these bottles? Yeah. All right. I'm excited. There's two of them I haven't had. I, I know. I know. First one we're going to we're going to show you is a 1792 full proof. We're going to be tasting that tonight. Um, they say it's around eight years. I think it's a no age statement. Is it not, Kent? Pretty yeah. sure. No age statement, but guessing six to eight. I yep. Believe. This one comes in at a whopping 125 proof. We're also going to include Jack Daniel's single barrel barrel proof. That was a no age statement. I couldn't find an age on this one. Yeah. This one, I think, is the heaviest on the proof, if I'm not mistaken, 130.6 yeah, right. proof. We also included Larceny Barrel Proof. This is, uh, isn't it the newest release? A122. Yeah. B, B hasn't come out? B, B122 hasn't come out yet? Okay, I guess, I guess Harry has a question. Harry's got, hey, we're getting, the down, we're getting the down low here down at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. All right, all right. Well, this is the newest one I have. Let's put it that way. And I haven't had it. And Ken hasn't had this one, so that's kind of a cool thing here, too. So this one here is said to be six to eight years, and it comes in at 124.4 proof. You know, we had to include, we had to include an Elijah Craig barrel proof. I mean, come on. It's iconic. It's a 12-year-old bourbon. I've included B520 because I know that's one of your favorites. It's one of my favorites, not my most favorite, but one of my favorites. 127.2 proof. I also included this one. This is relatively new to the bar. This is a Penelope barrel strength. This is another one you haven't had, correct? Correct. And if if I'm correct, I think when I was looking into these bottles, isn't this the youngest one? It is. This is definitely the youngest of the group. This one here is going to be around three and a half to a five year blend. So three and a half to five year whiskeys in here. So this is the youngest of the group. And it comes in at a, about 116 proof. Last but not least, you know I had to go down this road. You know I had to do it. Wild Turkey Rib Reed, you know, another one in that six to eight year range, isn't it, Kent? Something yes. like that? Yeah. So I don't think it's stated, but. Yeah, it's not stated. It's said, to be, a it's said to be something like that. Yeah. So this is 116.8 proof. So I'm going to put these away. This is what we'll be tasting tonight. Kurt, you have some people who are going to taste along with you. Awesome. That's great. I did post a picture of these bottles on Instagram and Facebook. You can find us there. 
and get updates when we're available to put them on. So if you want to get, if you if you have availability to be on Facebook or Instagram, you'll be able to see. I, I put pictures of this grouping here today. So for that particular reason, actually, so people could, if you have them at home, you could join us in the tasting as well. And then you can scorn us <laughs> when our lineup at the end isn't what you think it should be. Go ahead, Trent. Real quick before we start, what are we giving away? Oh, you know, I forgot because it's on Kent's side. Yeah, just put them out. You know, Trenton, hey, you know, Trenton, he's on top of this stuff. Harry he always Harry has wouldn't give cool. me the good stuff this time. So. <laughs> he's got cool stuff he always gives away. So what do you got, Trenton? You got a Buffalo Trace for a giveaway tonight? Yeah. We got our Blantons right here on a giveaway. I can't see it, Kent. You know what the letter is on that? Oh, shoot. I got without glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot younger, but my eyes caught up. I can't even. I can't see it either. <laughs> oh, yeah, look there. You got this here tonight? This is a yeah. O. Oh. oh. Huh. This is cool because we're tasting this tonight. Trenton's got that ready to go, too. So a Weller Full Proof. He's seventeen ninety two. Uh, I wish I had a Weller Full Proof. <laughs> oh, is it? I thought, I thought I needed my glasses back on. <laughs> Seventeen ninety. Pretty sure you're not Did full. I say Weller? You're not fooling anybody yeah. with that one. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Seventeen ninety-two, foolproof. Better, Trenton. Yeah. There's some, probably some people out there have looked at it this way. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Now it's really time to pay attention. Ah, my bad. Go ahead, Trenton. <laughs> I never can remember any of this stuff. Tell them how that works and how we do the giveaways, so that way people are prepared and they kind of have an idea of what's going on. Yeah. Uh, you have to be subscribed to enter the giveaway, and I guess I'll just go over how the giveaway works when I start it. But just make sure you're subscribed, otherwise like, later you won't be eligible. Yep. So. I'll kind of go over how we're doing that a little bit later so we can yeah. get into it. All right. Sounds good. All right. Michelle. Yes. Uh, my wife wasn't here early. She just got here about 15 minutes ago because we had a pre-arranged activity with our granddaughter that she was helping with. So, honey, you weren't involved with this, were you? You do not have the, uh, the magic ticket on this. And well, going on. I know. Oh, it's on my phone. Michelle <laughs> sharing. Yeah. So anyways, I think you numbered the glasses, correct? I did. So it's one to six, correct? That's right. And if I can okay. see correctly, my one, one is on my right and six is on my left. Yeah. All right. I'll leave it up to you. Which one do you want to start from the left? Do you want to start from the right? That's your choice. Now we'll keep it in order one time. All right. One to six. I like that. Let's get moving. If I go backwards, I'll lose count. <laughs> 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 Let's get moving to number one. Jason says he's surprised we're not trying the maker's cast strength in this one. Did we talk? I don't remember if we, we talked did. about it, that. It was one. brought up. Yeah, it was... it, it, the uh, Patreons did help us to decide the six that we're using as well, but it was talked about. It was bannered around a little bit. Do you want me to put in the chat what they're sip, what you're sipping, so the viewers mm -hmm. know? Oh, that'd be. Well, mm -hmm. then I gotta get yeah, out of the gotta, way. You can't yeah. look at the chat. Oh, I gotta. Well. Well, come on up here, Trent. You'll be nope. out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Get up there on the screen, man. Nope. We'll see. No, there's Everybody a problem. Everybody knows what the deal is on that. Here's the problem. I just knocked the problem already, Trent. Is your toasted? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on now. That's my first sip. It might take two or three. The, the problem is, because that's freaking delicious. Am I right? Yeah. The problem is they're all going to be so good. I mean, that's like... That's like heavy. The, the, That's like rich. I want to try it. The flavor is fantastic, but I won't give you my opinions. You know what it is. Just, I know. Nose, just, just yeah. It's a little bit of ethanol there. On the yeah, nose. on the nose. I agree with that. Um, I mean, more than than typical. I agree with that. This here, to me, has got a lot of. What do you think, Trent? Sour Patch? Sour Patch, Skittles, <laughs> Come on, bro. licorice. Kill me, buddy. You like quite a bit of like honey or something, yeah, yeah. something sweet. There's definitely a lot of sweetness going on there. Like it gets a little burnt oak on the finish. Though. Yeah, it's got a nice oak on the finish yeah. on that. Definitely some rich caramel and vanilla. Maybe a touch of honey in there too. Like you said, different kind of sweetness other than the vanilla caramel stuff. All right, we're gonna move it on down to number two. No pressure, but I think a lot of people are gonna be counting on you to pick out the rare breed tonight. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord help us. Wow. Wait till he knows this one. Is that two? Mm -hmm. Two. Mm. 
See, that one doesn't have that ethanol, but that one did. And you're just smelling flavor. Type. That's good. I know. That's good, too. Jason, we need some help up here, bro. <laughs> this is like... This is gonna He'll be, be like, woof. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough, man. This is tough. Definitely gets more of that barrel char on that one. But wow. There's something a little different on the back end of that yeah, one. Yeah, that's, some, that's some definitely some little bit more of a bitterish barrel char, but lovely one, though. Oh, I mean, yeah, not, yeah. Nothing, I'm saying bitterish. Way different than the finish on that one. Yes. <laughs> I'm saying it in a, you know, in a, in a good way. Huh. What do you think? Yeah. Not a huge fan of that one. Get out of here. Is it here. because of the finish? I think so. The finish is, is different. Mm. Like kind of harsh to me a little bit, maybe a little bit bitter in a way that I, because I usually like bitter stuff, right. but not, maybe not in this case. Mm. It's weird. Did you have candy or anything beforehand? I had yeah. a piece of watermelon. And, that's your, it. and your rice krispie treats. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, what'd, All you, that put, did what'd you, you put in those? Butter and marshmallows. <laughs> and rice krispies. Right. Krispie. All right, I'm gonna move on to number three. How do you want to do this, Trent? And I'm thinking that. Once we get, because we get all the way to the end, we're going to be a little confusing to remember what we did in the first three. Yeah. So how about we push forward one that we do not like the most out of the first three, and then we push forward one we do not like out of the, okay. out of the last yeah. three, and that kind of, you know, I mean, I'm a little older, so it helps me keep in track what's <laughs> going on here. So let's, let's get number three. Hmm. Yeah, this one is like more rich on the nose. This one's like lighter. Like a honey and things like that on those. Can't tell you the last time I've had like Jack Daniel single barrel, so I'm not sure. That or like you have a what batch is the Elijah Craig? B520. Okay, I don't hmm. think I have that one either. It's a lot lighter. This one's a lot lighter on the palate. Good flavors. Um, My, I'm just gonna say this as a guess. Mm -hmm. I guess I haven't been through the other three, but I oh, was going to say on the nose that too. that possibly could be the Penelope, even though I haven't had it, because mm -hmm. it seems a lot younger to me than those two. Mm -hmm. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. That has some nice flavors developing there, but it's a good guess because it just feels not, like it's not quite right. there. Interesting. I thought the first one might have been Penelope. You think? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah, I could see after the finish why. Yeah, it's definitely got a more. Seems yeah. young to me. A mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like more of a young, yeah, that, harsh that, finish. That's at a the good end. assessment on your part. Good job on that. I, I, I think I'd have to ride with you on that. We could be dead wrong, but I, I think I could ride with you on that one. Tell you the truth. So out of the first three, and it's a lighter, lighter color too. Yeah. I just noticed that too. But well, that's kind of cheating. You know, you bend over look at the color. Well, <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> out of the first three, Trenton. What's your thoughts? One, two, or three? Which one do you I'd, like the least? I'd probably push three forward. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say three as well just because I think yeah. it's it's not as big of flavors as in the first two. I'm 100% I'm on three without any varying for me. Now, that doesn't mean it wasn't it's any good. No, it's just, it, it, this is hard, but I, I, I had, without any exceptions for me, number three was the one I would push for it. So this is the one, number three so far. Um, when we push forward this next three, we'll decide which one of these two should be in last place. Okay. Does that sound fair enough? Yep. All right. So let me get a little sip here and we'll move on to number four. Harry, you want to taste the number four? Oh, that's right, you're driving. You can't have any. What do you think he does all day in his office? He's, just, he's sampling stuff. So that's why the bottles are always open in yeah. his office. The Heaven Hill was tempting. <laughs> you still got another one of those? I still got a green uh -oh. nose, too. Maybe you could start giving us a deal on open bottles. You could have a four and then we get the deal on the open one. There we go. I like that idea. That's a whole new marketing scheme. I'm going to take, like, take it home, see your time. And then I've got a movie from my office. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> I mean, that's rich. That's another one that's very rich. It's viscous. It's got a really nice mouthfeel to it. There's Caramel. definitely some brown sugar and molasses in that bad boy. I don't get. Do you get a lot of. Do you, do you get a lot of uh, barrel notes on that one? Mm -hmm. 
getting yelled at. What was that for? Holy, I know what that is. Oh. You do? Do you? Jeez, man. What is it? <laughs> That's got to be the jack. <laughs> that that hit different on the throat there. Holy. Do you think that's Jack Daniels? I think that is Jack Daniels. I don't think so, but I don't think so either. But, hey man. It's really we'll good. See. Mark down my guess. I'm memorizing your guess. Okay. Somebody <laughs> said you always take a second sip. Yeah. I, that's probably why I need a piece of pizza. By the time I'm done. <laughs> this is true. Because, uh, I, 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 you know, these blind. As you all know, these blind tastings are hard. They're difficult, am I right? They I mean, are. it's just, they are. you know, none of us are professionals. That's for darn sure, especially me. And uh, we just know, you know, we just kind of know what you like, what you don't like. And, but I always want to try to be as responsible as I can to everybody that's watching, at least. So, yeah, I sneak a second sip every once in a blue moon. <laughs> Probably why Pretty much every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would I would consider myself a professional. Yeah. Well, you are, Trent. You're, yeah. just, you're just one of those. Not many people can get those Sour Patch Kid notes like I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're all over it, buddy. You pull out a, break, a great bubble gum. I'm gonna... <laughs> great Laffy Taffy. <laughs> uh, the nose on this one, I think, gives it away a little bit. Salty we'll Lettuce, you think. Salty lettuce says, order this man a pizza. Mister, yeah, <laughs> please do. Mr. and Mrs. Salty Lettuce, I hope you folks They're are doing here. well. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Put the address in the chat. No, I don't think that's Maybe. a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> we, like, we like JJ's. This basement no. will be full. Yeah, JJ's. Hmm. No. I don't like JJ's. Wow, that's good. Oh, I just that. <laughs> I'm well. Well, that's got some rich caramel, toffee type stuff, a little bit of vanilla. What do you think? Michelle mm. would like some. Yeah, you keep putting it Gosh, on the bottom. But you know what it is. I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> she just wants to taste them. Mm -hmm. I know. It's too bad she knows because I like her input on this kind of stuff. It's always unique. I think, oh, what do you think that one is, Trent? I think that's wild turkey. Right this? Right. Yeah. What do you think? No. no I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh, no. Uh, no. no. I don't think so either, but I think the wild turkey is on this side. But I could be wrong about that. Too. Nope. Who knows? I, 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 we got more coming. Where am I at even? I don't see it. No, here we go again. Last You're one, on six. I'm on six already? Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. Number six. Imagine if we went backwards like he uh, was yeah. oh, doing. You'd have been putting We'd be all kinds of mess. Let's mark that down for the rest of the shows. Don't ever go backwards, right? We're don't even bring it up. Q. It's not even a suggestion. <laughs> I hope I'm right just so I can rub it in your face. I know. Yeah. I, I knew you were over there thinking about it. I was thinking, gosh, I hope he's not right. <laughs> Kent and I write notes back and forth to each other. Well, great. I, I can't be a part of the party here. <laughs> I just didn't finish. Uh, what do you think here? <clears throat> yeah. Dude. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, this is what I get for not being so on the camera. I get it. I get it. I hope that bourbon comes out your nose. <laughs> oh, Lord. I have to give you props, so. Give your props. Go ahead. Give it a taste first. And we'll go from there. What the heck is that? It's bourbon. Yeah. No, it's mm -hmm. Actually, the. Uh, oh yeah, right. Out of those three. I have no idea. <laughs> oh wow. I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, hand it to Michelle. Hand it to Michelle. <laughs> what? What do you think, Bob? Putting you on a spot a lot tonight. No, I'm, I'm you know, you're keeping your thoughts to you to both of you guys back there, keeping me out of it. I'm keeping my thoughts to myself. I don't know. What do you think, Kit? I need to taste that one again. Go ahead. I'm gonna pull This is gonna be quick. tough to eliminate. And let me just say, let's say this, okay, because we do not want to pardon me, we do not want to eliminate one that we don't feel needs to be eliminated. So if we feel there's one over here that we want to retest or retaste real quick, let's do that because in my opinion, these three are phenomenal. I would eliminate two over Absol any of those. Absolutely phenomenal over here. And I, I don't know yeah. what this one is, but, you know, 
I hate to even I hate to put myself out there like that, but this one will, this taste, one tastes uh, a little bit like the wild turkey over here. To be honest with you. Nope. I know I liked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know I liked one over two. Yes. Yeah. So let me try two as well. I'd push forward too. That's my vote. Yeah, because we don't we don't want to. These are phenomenal. Yeah. All three. Let's All those just say, are better than that. These three are ridiculously. I just figured out how to get a raise for doing the show. I just need second taste for everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, my problem with my problem with I just uh, doubled my salary. <laughs> <laughs> my problem with wild turkey rare breed. Trent knows this to be a fact. Actually, my wife knows well, that's, it to be a fact. That's two already, so you might as well push it up. I 100% agree with that. Yeah. These two right. should stick. Well, around. you too. I, I'm not even going to taste it because. You, you guys would outnumber me anyways. Right. But with Wild Turkey Rare Breed, I always pour it over a block of ice. Always. So the flavors differ a little bit neat than it does over ice. And I found that out in our tournament challenge that we had. Actually, there's a couple in that mix, it, and I do the it, same. So it, it, yeah, it, it changes just a touch. And if you pour that sucker over ice, I'll tell you right now what it is. But I never drink it neat, so it's a little bit more difficult neat. See? See? Do you guys have a last place out of those two? Uh, for me personally, I would say number three. Would you guys I say number also, three for I last also, place? I would yeah. also put three. So I would place. say number three for last place, number two for fifth place. Okay. Yeah. So Michelle, what I'm going to do to help for you and babe, just for you to help us keep us straight, I'm pushing these over to the side. So I now have one, four, five, and six. Okay. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm gonna need pizza after this too. <laughs> now, for me, she's already grinning. I, one of those are. Uh, she she's knows. About. Uh -huh. She knows what I deal with. You know, this is hard to say because I, as you can look at me, I am not a lightweight. But when it comes to drinking bourbon, I'm kind of a lightweight. I'm not like him. I mean, you can do this almost all night. And like, yeah, it'd be fine. I, I just can't. So I don't know what's up. What's up with that? But. Well, don't from, don't invite my buddy Jason up if you <laughs> don't try to keep up with that. I've heard, I've heard. Amy, you do a good job keeping keeping him in check <laughs> most of the time. I'd like to see Harry and Jason go head to head. Head to head. I think Harry can. I think Harry can hold his hold his. Oh, oh. part two of the live oh, show oh, tonight. Oh. <laughs> SLB after hours. My poor <laughs> Harry versus Jason. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, yeah. now, guys, oh, got it. for me, for me, I thought these three were phenomenal. Let's taste this one and see if it stands up to these three. Fair enough? Yep. What number are you tasting? One. Number one. Okay, one. Which I did think was good. There, mm -hmm. I don't. That's, I don't necessarily like the ethanol in the nose, though. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that. I didn't comment on the nose, but I picked that up as well, the ethanol on the nose. I think there's great flavors there. But me personally, I don't want to persuade you guys into a decision, but for me personally, for my memory and with my last sip, I don't think it stands up to these three. But you guys make your decision. Yeah, I, I, I said it's it's really good, but it doesn't hold a candle. To I those said three. we go back to that over and over again. These are all great, so it's extremely hard. But I agree with you, Trent, and I, I I think this number one is not quite as good as these last three. Go ahead, Ken. I'm sorry. Well, when you, you go, go no, no, that's all right. When you go through six pours or six tastes of a barrel brew, yeah, and you go actually seven or eight because we doubled up on a couple, and then you go back to one. And you get a little bite of ethanol. To me, it's a little too much ethanol now, compared yeah. to the other ones, because I, I wasn't getting any of that here. No, no, and then I jump back awesome. to a seventh or eighth taste, and I'm getting ethanol or a little bit of a bite from it. I don't yeah. know. I, for me personally, I've had a few sips now. I didn't get a whole lot of ethanol, but I can agree with you at a certain point with that one. But I also feel that the flavors don't stack up with what no. we have left here. That's just me. So. Guys, if I'm not mistaken, Michelle yeah. and my lovely yeah. bride, number one Is will be place. actually in fourth place. Got it. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
Now, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna go sit on the couch over there and have a piece of pizza while you guys decide which one of these three are the best. Because I, I personally, when the first one's through, on the first round through, uh, it's They're just all really, really good. Yeah. So let's. I guess let's do what we got to do. Number four. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, when when you nose a bourbon and you go, oh my god, you just you just know it's gonna be good. <laughs> Part of me is hoping that 1792 foolproof is at least in the top three because we're giving it away. <laughs> that is so good. Honest to God, it's so good. I mean, I really get a lot of brown sugar, molasses, just all kinds of stuff in there. Just toffee. really great toffee, caramel, you Tarmel. name it. All the good Tarmel. sweet. That's Tret and I's turn for toffee and caramel. Tarmel. We're gonna brand that name Tarmel. Get a new, shirt. new shirt design. It's only it can got, only be it got can only tarmel. Got tarmel. <laughs> got tarmel. A new shirt design. I like it. I like that's, it. See, that's how he thinks. You know, he's a kid. What did he say? I missed it. Got it's a new tarmel. shirt design, honey. It's called Got Tarmel. T A R M E L. Oh man. I mean, give me a break, right? I mean, just come on. I mean, really, honestly, just pour that over my head and let me just. You know, waited for a little bit. <laughs> Rub it on. Is that like a new challenge? Not the ice bucket, but the but the barrel the proof challenge. Barrel yes. challenge. Honey, would you like to see me just rub this all over my body? Would that be, <laughs> no, she's cut, shaking. Cut she's, him off. <laughs> she's shaking her head. No, I guess her, that's it. Your that's daughter it. is my niece. My niece right Kayla's back there covering her eyes like, oh my gosh. Sorry. She Kayla. needs Kayla. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. So I actually forgot you were down. <laughs> <laughs> I, would you like to taste any of these, honey? No. No, she's like my wife. She doesn't do the whole bird. I think after that comment, she got a little... <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's three shades of red. So yeah. I, actually, I am right now, too, because I sincerely forgot she was over there on my left. So. I'm here, too, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you're a dude, you know, so it's a little yeah. different, you know? It's just kind of a little different, but... All right, moving on. <laughs> We're going to go to number five, quickly. Another great nose, Kent. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, I gotta quit laughing. It's not your nose. Joke. I know. Yeah. Oh my god, so good. Honestly, I don't know. Tuxedo Toolbox says no more for Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great name, Tuxedo I told you, Toolbox. I, I hey, it. listen. <laughs> toolbox. <laughs> I, I told you from the beginning. These are barrel-proof bourbons, man. If I get through the end of this, it'll be a minor miracle. <laughs> more oh water, gosh. please. I, I paid for the entertainment. I got so much more. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Well, this will go down as a hoot, that's for sure. Some people hey, call Hey, Patreons, it. next time, no more barrel-proof bourbons. <laughs> <laughs> that's not you, a good idea. You didn't just call him a tool. You called him the whole toolbox. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> if his name is Mike, I call him Mike. <laughs> Trent just dribbled. Oh, you did that, come on. <laughs> that made me like taste it more. <laughs> it's a different way to nose it when hey, it's coming out of your nose. That's hey, like tobacco you know all what? over the place. Let me just say, in all honesty, that's how we rolled out here at SLB, isn't that Trent? It's just a lot of good times. It's Not family. normally this much. It's family and friends, and we just have a good time. That's what we do. It's what we do. All right, you get a good one on that one. I, me personally, you know, I know I'm kind of. I should let you guys start this. You haven't actually started. What, what's your What's your opinion between four and five? Four. M me too. What would you push for? No. No, no. Oh, what? Well, four is four, my favorite yeah. between four and four. five. We haven't got to six, so no, I'm not pushing anything forward yet, but between four and five, I think four is, is better. Yes. Okay. It took me a sec. Let's get let's get to six real quick. Real quick, J and A Salovich, four ninety nine donation. Thank you. Oh thanks so much. I mean J and A Salovich. That stuff blows me away. It's I hope really I said nice. that right. J and A, yeah, thank you very much for the five dollar donation. We really appreciate it. Oh no wonder it's not working. I'm typing in the wrong place. That's pretty right. good too. <laughs> No, I won't say anything yet. I guess I have to like choke on the bourbon to really get the full flavor from it. 
That was a different experience. Reverse nosing salty lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, reverse. <laughs> it's like a new that. technique yeah. developed here in the SLB mm -hmm. Basin Bird Bar. I might just want to show my face now so I can get behind those and see where the notes are that you guys are writing. Like, like two schoolgirls passing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you can read them. See? Can you read it? No. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, right? Good luck. Luckily, uh, good luck, pal. Me and Kurt have matching chicken scratch. So we do. I know his shorthand. Yeah. My grandmother was a second grade school yeah. teacher and she used to slap us on the wrists all the time for our bad penmanship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. It's probably even more rough after some. She would, yeah. uh. <clears throat> She would always, yeah, oh yeah, it does get worse, but she would always be like, are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> good old me, Ma. <laughs> God rest her soul. Michael, uh, oh, okay. sorry. Michael ahead, ahead. Brady's, I think is how you say his last time, says the party is really going to kick in when the malort comes out. Oh! <laughs> Trenton threw me for a loop on that one with that malort that one time. I don't know if any of you guys seen it, or Harry, I don't know if you saw it, but there was a liquor store in town I seen post a barrel-aged malort. A limited edition barrel aged malort. Don't tell Harry that. He'll get it. He'll find it. <laughs> Harry, I'm going to need that. He's, he's the man. <laughs> Harry's the man. He will find it. Chad, we'll Chad find it. Just like <laughs> 12 o'clock in the morning. Like, Sunday 11 30. Did you get this one? Trent never goes to bed until like 2. Yeah. But then I called him this morning at 8.30 and he didn't answer the phone. Bro, you think I'm up at 8.30? Absolutely not. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Corporate World here started work at 9. Well, 9 to 5. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, whatever. Yeah, can't. I left the house at 10, six. 11, 12 like to like nine to five ish. ish. I left yeah. the house at six. Yeah. I'll, I'll barely make it to bed here when we're done. I need my. I need the beauty rest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well. Well, Tamuchi says we're over fifty thousand subs away from seeing Trenton. We're over fifty. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Well, like, hey, Tamuchi, tell your friends, Tamuchi. Yeah. I heard him say out of his lips that he may change it to fifty thousand. Yeah. Or it might be like a Patreon only. Yeah, yeah I think that's what you said. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Mrs. Salty Lettuce, $5 donation and says, you guys are the best. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. I mean, uh, a little so salty lettuce. Mrs. Love that. Salty. <laughs> Mrs. Salty Lettuce. Mrs. Where did salty. you come up with the name Salty Lettuce? Because it's phenomenal. It is. We it's love just, it here. It's some of these, excellent. Some of these are excellent. hilarious. Austin said this is the best live stream yet. I want to <laughs> know the story behind Tamuchi. <laughs> Like is that is that your name? Is that like yeah, dude? What? And you've been here. Know. You've been here for for a long time, and God bless you. I appreciate you so much. Honestly, I do. Your quirky comments and everything else just makes my day. It makes me laugh out loud to tell you the truth. So, man, I love you for that. So, thanks for being around. I appreciate it. Six to me is like the lightest of the three, and it's yeah. a little nutty. Oh yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's not I, my favorite. I, I have to agree with you there. I'm a hundred percent on it. If you look at my notes. I wrote to Kit four and five with a question mark because those are my favorites. Four and five. Yeah. So are I, you saying you, Kit? six is in third place? Yeah, I agree with that. All right, so we're calling we, six. We'll see if we agree on four and five, but yeah, no, no, <laughs> that's understandable. So right now, <clears throat> but I Michelle, do agree on that one. Huh? Yeah. Michelle and my beautiful wife, Got we it. have eliminated. We have four six. and six left. Or <clears throat> sorry, four and five left. Right. So we eliminated six, so sixth is fourth place. Yep. Is in third place. Third place. I got it. You guys are good. You just the drink Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we have left up on the bar top four and five. Kevin Page, fifty dollar donation. Bro, thank honestly, you. I just don't. I appreciate Thanks. it. Honestly, we do. And I let me just say, every time I'm down. Ke yeah, yeah, I think Kevin donates every time. I think he's. That's I awesome. think he's one of our fifty dollar. Patrons or 20, 25. He sent me an email today, Kevin. I'll get back to your email, but every single time, Kevin. Thank you very much. Honestly, Wait. Trenton, no, go ahead. <laughs> Demucci said, "I'll tell you the story, Trenton, when we hit a hundred k." I like that. I like back. that. That's a good. What one. If, if I send you like a personalized video? Will you tell me what it means? <laughs> I don't know that I can wait that long. <laughs> I can tell you all honestly, from the bottom of my heart, any any monies that are donated or given to us through Patreon is 100% used to for the channel and to upgrade the channel. Trent and I don't pocket that money and go run out and buy stuff. We just don't do it. 
So we actually just picked up this fancy new camera for our nope. B-roll. There you so go. So thank you, everybody. Yep. So that's what we do, and we just enjoy what we're doing on here, and we have a lot of fun. Okay, let's get to this here. Four and five. <clears throat> I already know what my pick is. You do already? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to start with you. This is four. Because this is going to just destroy me trying to pick between these two. Are you? Do you I already have an idea? I 100% know which one I'm picking. This, like... You guys are nuts. I, don't, I have no <laughs> idea. This almost reminds me of, like, a, like Buffalo Trace kind of on the nose. It's like... Sweet tart, almost. Sweet tarts? <laughs> yeah. Are you having a stroke? No. <laughs> you guys just can't find the good flavors in bourbon. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will say, Trent's talking about candy all the time with bourbon. But Trent needs candy like it's going on. I'm not typically a, so I'm not what? typically a flavored whiskey guy, but I keep seeing the crown peach just disappear, disappear, disappear. So I finally like, you know what? I'm gonna get one. My favorite candy of all time is a peach ring. <laughs> it is a shot of peach ring, I'm telling you. So I found a flavored whiskey I like. Harry, do you sell? Do you do you sell that pretty well? Yep. So every time I see it, it's everybody going likes like peach rings, day. huh? Everybody likes peach rings. And it's like a pretty popular food <laughs> these days. It's a peach ring shot. That's I heard I people mix it with lemonade wow. during the summer. I oh, something they make the ice tea, like a peach tea or something. They make. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Just not a fan of peach rings. That is so good, bro. I'll take it. <laughs> that, is, that is delicious. Vanilla, caramel, rich, viscous. The nose is spectacular. That sounds like last. You can tell that's the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nose gone out of that glass. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that disappeared. It's good. It's <laughs> really good. What do you got there? You, you? I get a lot of, like, like a tobacco or something from it. Like something On four or five? Five. Okay. Five, five is harsh. definitely more lemon may, tobacco. Maybe it's the fact that I choked on it a little bit, but I thought <laughs> I thought that's kind of what I got from it. There's definitely more of those flavors in it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The okay, cool. Sweet. Absolutely. I think this is the first time we've Trent actually gotten tasty notes right. right. Yeah, actually. you guys agree? <laughs> he's, he's actually 100% right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because Kent oh, always it smells like scotch. Now. He doesn't mind correcting me when I'm wrong, <laughs> but this to me is just a rich, viscous caramel, toffee, brown sugar, all the sweetness, all the sweetness, deep and big flavors, sweetness. big. Trent is right, actually. With <laughs> that reminds me of like a, a beef yeah, jerky almost. <laughs> Trent is right here with his number five. It kind of leans more towards the leathers, the tobaccos, the absolutely. Oaks, the, there's a little bit of caramel, but it goes really deep into that uh, more of a, a leather and pretty quick type stuff too. Quick. And uh, hmm. but just do you think the flavors are as bold in six as they are in five? I think that's five and four, right? Yeah, I apologize. Five. Five. In five, um, as it is in four. To me, four is extremely rich and bold and beautiful and sweet. To me, in five, there are also excellent flavors there, uh, but in a whole other fashion to it. I feel like... Do you feel it stacks up? I feel like it kind of comes down to, like, flavor preference. Because mm -hmm. I feel like they're both really well-balanced. You get a lot of flavors from oh, both, but... Well-balanced is a fantastic thing to come up with right now because they're both extremely well-balanced, <clears throat> but it's just in a different way. Tobacco, leather, like the... the beef jerky is, I'm going to call it flavors, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, so I would put four first and five second, but I think the flavors in both are really good, If it might, and yeah. it might just be what you're feeling yeah. that day, you know. Yeah, and Trent, honestly, man, thanks for bringing that up, because... You're welcome. <laughs> he's right, though, I mean, I have to give props where props are He's due. probably back there like, yes, I got At all times, even, even, even though it's my boy there, bit. you know, I, I, I yeah, still got to give him props, but... <laughs> I mean, what do you think, Kent? Because I think he's spot on with these. No, I mean, these these are yeah. fantastic flavors here. Go ahead. No, he was he was right. It's more of a a dark flavor in in that one. But love to hear those words. I. Uh, <laughs> what you're right. Yeah, you're right. I don't say them enough. Do I? <laughs> no, you don't. But I'll tell you when I go on through the tastings when I hit four. Yeah. I said that's gonna be hard to beat as soon as I tasted it for me. It's so good. Man. So. You was. guys, you guys both agree that number four is better than number five at this point. 
Is that what I'm hearing? Four would be my vote, personally. Two? Yeah, I, yeah, I've said that. Yeah, it, you know, I thought that since I hit four. And let me just say, I, when we do these blind tastings, and I love it when I have more by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah. All of us agreed on that. I mean, they're both kind of <laughs> down there. Yeah. I tell you, when we did that tournament challenge, it was difficult because it was just me. You know what I mean? And to me, I've always felt that the majority is better than a minority. You know what I mean? So in other words, if there's one person tasting. It's just my opinion on that particular day of, of what I'm tasting. So when there's three or four people tasting, you get, you get conversation, you get a little bit better of an idea of what's on the bar top. However, with that being said, I love both of these two. And I truly feel, no matter how the lineup is, how it comes tonight, I, I really feel that we did a good job placing from six to one. I, I think flavor-wise, I think we did a good job. But I have to agree 100% on this one. Four is ridiculously good. It is ridiculously good. Very good. I love the flavors in five. I really do. They're just a different kind of flavors to it. So, I, Michelle, I'm pushing up five, which leaves us number four as our winner for Got this it. evening. And how... <clears throat> the three of us decided for tonight. So, so before yes, I, before I yes. uh, tell you how it all played out, <laughs> we have some donations. We have Try, I think, uh, $5. Cheers to Kurt and the team. Actually, Thank that you. was one donation, but a Thank comment you. from the outlaw Josie Wales says, Please oh, donate at least ten dollars so Kurt can buy a few bottles of Tylenol for tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> and Trenton, maybe I don't know. Yeah. Nope, that's a good one. A little, a little Advil goes a long yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. For sure. That's awesome. Um, a little Advil. That's all. Sorry, I'm a tiny bit behind on the comments. We've got some great comments. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to hear how it played out? Do you want to scoot those back and we'll bring out the say? bottles and yeah. order? Yes. Do you guys want to yeah, guess? So can I? I will yes. uh, say which one. Yeah. But out of six, do. if there was, if I didn't have five of them, I would go buy them. Oh, out of, okay. out of six. There's with, only one that I wouldn't rush out to buy, but there's yeah. five out of the six. Without a doubt. I would go buy. And that's the hardest part. When we do the live shows, of course we want to put some bottles out there that are just great. You know what I mean? And, and that's what makes it difficult in these shows. When Trent and I did. And we're going to make that like a, what do you think, a monthly thing where the girls try to stump the boys yeah. type thing? Well, yeah, let us know if you like that. We <laughs> Yeah. We did that blind tasting, and in one comment that I thought was really good, we should name it uh, Whiskey Battles instead of... Uh, mm. Right, because it was a rye, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that That's way the cool. girls can be free to pick whatever they want to pick. But I love doing that because it helps me kind of get my palate in tune for blind tastings. We, don't do, we haven't done that a lot. No. We absolutely have not. And... And it was a great time. I love doing it with Trent too, because you know he gives some, sometimes some off the wall kind of stuff. But you know it's always cool to be able to discuss it with somebody else. We had a good time with that. But this is another one where we pick great bottles. Kent's here. He's been into bourbon for quite a long time. Trent offers some cool stuff too. So you know if you like that 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 bourbon blind thing or the whiskey blind tasting thing, we can do it once a month where the girls come down, pick. Pick five bottles. We have no idea what they're even picking, as long as they're in the mm -hmm. same category. Yeah. Scotch. I will not be participating <laughs> in scotch. I can't. Anyways, we'll figure that out. But uh, anyways, you have another. You can invite me on that one. Twenty dollar yeah. donation. You are amazing from IBDM One. I think I said. Oh. Bill. 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 Yeah. yeah. And then. Thanks, uh, Bill. Appreciate it so much. Had. Stein, I'm so sorry if I butchered that. It says Whiskey Wars would be a good name. Ooh, Whiskey oh, Wars. The that's cool. Man. That's it. Thank that you. Is good. That's it. Yep. So yeah, we take as many as many suggestions as we can get. That's a good one. There. Yeah. We, we don't have all the answers. That's a fact. So and appreciate you setting us straight in a lot of things. Double check your one and two because Connie Cox says, I think Kurt just lined up number one in the second spot. Catch so we check double check. Uh, she's right. This is four. Well, oh, yeah. you gotta flip, flip them. Yeah, flip, flip those. Good yeah, eye, Connie Cox. So they need to go like this. Yes. Yeah. Connie, you rock. Thank you. Thank so you. So which thank one you. we picked? Then which one? Well, the one that's <laughs> that's right. Yes. All right. I just that want to make correct. sure 
that we're right on the one we yeah, lost. Well, we are now, thanks to her. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Connie. A couple other people. Oh, you were watching. I was yeah. watching. I was just waiting. <laughs> you know, I knew they were backwards. Yeah. My lovely bride has been, has been setting me straight for many years, so thank you, Connie. <laughs> Women pay way more attention than men do. That's awesome. I've never asked to set me straight. I know better than that. Carrie, if you're watching, holy yeah. cow. You might not want to go home tonight. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to set me straight when I get there. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so you, so you said that there was one that you wouldn't buy. <laughs> was that sixth place? That was... Uh, Is it what you guys put last? It's the one that... No, I... Uh-oh. See, I'm cheating again. That's all right. It was the uh, one that I thought was young. Which one was that? Uh, me, I think that was Michelle. six. Number three. three. Number three. Um, oh. That is the only one that I was... It's currently the one that's in sixth place. Okay, yeah. Then, yes. All right, well, all right, so let's get to it. Place. Let's get to it. Let's, let's, let's line yeah, them up. I would like to know. And as soon as we're done with this, we'll get into the giveaways. I apologize for the delay. So let's go ahead, Michelle. Give so, me the last place that came in tonight for blind tasting, yeah. although very good. What was last place? Can't hear right. It's Penelope. Oh, okay. And you know what? Honestly, it guys. It wasn't bad. This is very Just good. out of the group, it seemed young to me. And that's a fact. He's right, 100%. Go ahead with number two. Which one was Which was, was number Fifth five? Fifth place was Larson. Which wow. ends Fifth up... Fifth place, right next to the top. Wow. Okay, right next to yep. the they're, the they're, they're, they're in order. First. You know, this is a weeded bourbon too, Kent, and I honestly feel, Harry, that this this is one of the best Larceny releases I've ever tasted on the Barrel Proof too. So I'm kind of surprised that it's not yeah. Hey, Kent. Place. i, yes. I got to be honest with you. Your beautiful bride said... I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> she. I knew she'd be watching. Yep. <laughs> I knew she'd be watching. You can't get anything past her. No. You cannot. That's, Just that's give it sure. up. Give it up. That's for sure. So I. I am a little surprised. This is down yeah. here. Fifth. This not so much. I think it's got some great roots to the bottle. But Kent's 100 percent right. It's a little young. Okay, I'm sorry. Take up time. Fourth Let's go place. with number fourth. 1792. Huh. I thought this is a really good bottle too, but it's up against some well, really like I said, contenders. From this point on, if I didn't have it, I'd go buy it. Yeah, so there's no doubt. Good. There's no doubt about it. So full proof, very good. Go ahead. Sorry. Number uh, three. Number three, third place. Third wild, place. Wild turkey rare breed. Oh shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, guys, honestly, this this stuff is fantastic. You know, I love wild turkey. I'm a wild turkey guy. A one. Boy, it, it's going up to some stiff competition tonight. Yeah. It really, yeah. really is. So, you know, Which batch it's very, very that? good. Michelle, were any of us right when we tried to pick any of these bottles that we thought well, that? Yes. I'm, Trenton wasn't right about any of this. Oh, <laughs> come on, Trenton. Um, what? And you guys were. Um, oh, shame. But what shame. did you say about the Penelope? Penelope batch is eight. Larceny yes. batch is A122. Yes, Penelope is batch eight for positive. Okay, sorry. Um, this A122 is thanks to Harry. Yes. An excellent, excellent purchase, though. Uh, I don't care if it is down here. It's very, very good. Best weeded bourbon I've ever had. Do you guys have any guesses as to what's first or second? You know what's left. You have. I'm gonna guess. Hey, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Um, Kim. That Elijah Craig is first. Yeah. So wow. second place was Jack Daniels, and wow. then first is Elijah hmm. Craig. Okay, let me say this. Okay. Kid, this Jack Daniels is fantastic. It is. This is single barrel is. barrel proof thing. Yeah. I have had so many comments and so many. I've tried to answer responsibly without being ornery you know my wife knows i'm pretty good about trying not to just stay out of fights that doesn't need to be had <laughs> kent on the other hand no not so much through his lifetime but anyway <laughs> that's another story but i jack daniels is not a bourbon it is a bourbon you know trying to begin i mean a lot of people would be irritated even that jack daniels is in this competition but i put it in here because it we put it in here as a group because it is flipping delicious. It is. So it doesn't matter if you think it's a bourbon, it's a not a bourbon, it's a Tennessee whiskey. I don't really care. It's just very, very a good. good. Bottle. Now, this <laughs> Elijah Craig, maybe I should have picked a different one, Ken, because <laughs> B 
I've said it on camera before. C919 is one of my is my absolute favorite. You bought like three of them, didn't you? Yeah, Actually, there's a bunch uh, of them. I have that in my, in, in my basement oh. as well. And, and Ken, I didn't put it in the competition because it has a, a predominantly extremely sweet oaky flavor to it. You'd be able to pick it up immediately to me. Yeah. That's the reason why I didn't put it in here. Plus, because it's one of my favorites. So I don't want to, you know, I want the competition to be, you know, fair. So I put in the B520, which I know is a favorite amongst many, many, as the comments I've read and everything else, too. I don't have that one, unfortunately. You do not have it. I don't. I think that was... Wow. Uh, yeah, I started in, like, uh, December of 2020. Or, no, yeah, 2020. I will say that the comments on Facebook today, Trenton, Instagram, not so much. I just got a lot of likes on Instagram for this for the show today. But on fake, Facebook, there was a decent number of comments that predicted... Jack Daniels. I noticed that too. To oh, be okay. the winner of the program and today, it but came off of close. Came off of mm -hmm. close, but wow. Came off of close. Hey, hey, tonight, Elijah Craig B520 was just spectacular. It just was. It's just so good. It's hard to beat. Go ahead. You got a five dollar donation from Emily Wysock. Oh, thank you, Emily. Certainly appreciate it. Oh, As and always. another five dollars from J and A. Sal Salovich. I hope I didn't say that wrong the first time. But thank you. J&A Salovich. Bye Thanks for your donations, guys. Yeah, thank you. Trent, you want to get into the giveaways? I guess. I guess i got to transfer my... you got to get into this Pop, thing. Check your buddy. battery, too. I'm going to put you to work. I'm going to put you to work. Just so batteries. Yeah, batteries. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You guys want to, can you put what we're giving away out in front so we kind of know yeah, what? Yeah, do you want to yeah, clear we'll, up we'll, we'll, put all I'll that stuff down? I'll pull these back. I'll pull these all back. Uh, that might. That's yeah, fine. Is this going to work? You guys? A little crowded, but it's yeah, fine. Yeah, it looks a little busy. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Mm, let's see here. A good grouping here, Trenton. Good job on that. Kind of surprised me on a couple of these, so good deal. Is it? All right, we are starting the burning giveaway. Say my name so I take it back. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Give it exclamation All right, so the giveaway has been started. If you have been on a live show before, you know how this works. Um, I think, what is it, exclamation point raffle? Yeah. Correct exclamation point raffle in the chat to enter and we will call these in seven minutes so you have seven minutes enter in exclamation point raffle if you are not subscribed to the channel you will not be entered so you need to you need to be subscribed before you actually type in exclamation point raffle so just make sure that you do that what was your comment harry my name so I can take my bottle with me. <laughs> <laughs> you got like you got like ten bot ten of each in the back. Uh, oh. So what do they have to do in order to be in the be in the drawing? In in order to be in the drawing you have to type in exclama exclamation point raffle in the chat and you have to be subscribed to the channel. But you have okay. to subscribe first. So yeah, subscribe yeah. first. Yeah. I yeah. tried to get Eagle Rare and I tried to get Henry McKenna, but you know Henry or Henry. Harry just wouldn't Get you two bottles tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a ten dollar donation from Craig Purser. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. And he has Thank a little you. dancing. I think it's a peach, and it says number one fan. That's a pear, babe. Pear. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a dancing pear. <laughs> I swear I know my fruit. <laughs> I think so. I was I was trying to pull Harry's leg to have him. I was trying to buy a full case of Eagle Rare so I could just have the show stocked for six months, but. <laughs> Yeah, he just he just wasn't he just wasn't having it. So <laughs> no, he just you just picked the two bottle. I had a whole case on the floor. I thought you were giving that to other people. No, you just took the two bottles. So that's what I said. Hey, the case. I'll be I'll be in tomorrow. So he's being a cheap case. Uh -huh. I'll be I'll, I'll be in tomorrow for the other four. <laughs> Maybe one bottle left. Just. Oh, I know. Uh -oh. I got a whole case of Henry McKenna. Whole case. I'll buy a whole case. Got two or three cases. Well, how much did it go up? I guess Henry McKenna just went up a bunch for those a of you of who. A lot of things have been going up. Yeah. Fifteen dollars a bottle, Henry. A lot McKenna. of things have been going. What up. is it? Fifty. Fifteen. Oh, it went up fifteen. So yeah. what is it now? Uh, 
before it used to cost us in the store twenty nine dollar, I think thirty dollar, and now it's like a forty five dollar. Wow. wow. So you're going to sell it to me for 45 Things, things are crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. The man's got to make, the man, the man's make some money, Trent. Come yeah, on. He won't be able that's to why I didn't put that outside, because Trent, I don't want anybody to say it's a high price. Yeah. Uh, things, yeah. things across the board have went up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not just in uh, it's lumber it's all those things and alcohol, too. Yeah, it's oh, lumber's killing me. It's lumber's unfortunate. Terrible. Everything has gone up. Yeah. I just paid like 9 bucks for a 2 by 4 It's unfortunate, Um We got... Let's see. Well, Trenton, here, here's what I'm going to do Ooh, right now. Oh, you're going to walk on the camera. Here's what oh. I'm going to do right now to fill the time a little bit. I want my brother to check out a few things that I don't think he's ever had before. Have you had this Nulu Toasted Barrel? Never had. I have never had anything from Nulu. I haven't either. But um, <clears throat> I did pick this up. It wasn't cheap, I will tell you this. A little over 100 bucks. Um, I have seen New Lou in other shows, but we don't really get it up here very much. Harry, do we? This New Lou stuff? Kentucky only, maybe. Pardon me? I think Kentucky only. Yeah, I, it, it, we don't get it up here, and it yeah. might be Kentucky only. The shows that I see it on are, are people that live in Louisville. So that makes sense. That makes sense. But I want Kent to try this tonight because this is Trenton's, one of Trenton's new favorites in the bar, is it not Trenton? Yep. Uh, yeah, you can tell I got this, like, I've already had any of it, and I got this like two weeks ago. So this is one of Kent's, or uh, one of Trenton's Out new of, favorites. Uh, curiosity, Trenton, before I have it, are you a fan of all the different toasted that's come out? Is that I like, I, 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 I yeah. notoriously like toasted, toasted bourbons. 20 proof, so it's a higher proof. It's yeah. really good. I, it's unlike anything I've ever tasted. So if you see this anywhere, I, we highly recommend it. Is this was this a Michigan store pick? It was. Yes. Okay. So this might this might kind of vary, but if you see Four to six year MGP, that's yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to find the Nulu has a honey honey barrel yeah. finish. Yeah. Love to find that. I don't know. It just sounds. I texted good. Harry. He hasn't made it happen yet. It just sounds good. It sounds good. We have a ten dollar donation from Big Ed. Thank you, Big Ed. Thank Ed. Thank you. I'm trying to catch these as they come in, but the raffle's going real quick, so if I missed any, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? That is really good. Yeah. That's one of the best toasted barrels I've ever For had. For sure. I agree. And I love Trenton's on the he's working on it. But wow. the Mictors, you know, you did get let's see, I've got the rye toasted barrel, right? That's what I have too. The Fort Nelson? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But isn't there a sour mash or something like that, toasted barrel? There's or? a there's a toasted barrel sour mash. I haven't seen. Wow. Have you have you gotten it, Harry? i like Harry to, hasn't gotten it. Yeah, I'd like to yeah. see that. I'd like to really taste that one. Yeah. But out of the out of all the toasted barrels, even Elijah Craig that you have, Ken, I don't have it. He does. Out of all of them I've tasted even you know, rye is a different animal, but I like this one the best. Honestly, yeah, the Elijah is, Craig toasted barrel, I wasn't super impressed with. No, I wasn't either. To be honest, with you. I like the Mictors better. Yeah, the Elijah Craig toasted. Yeah, I don't have I don't have anything toasted. I like from, my Mictors oh. rye toasted barrel. I don't have anything toasted from Mictors. No. I have the the barrel strength rye. Yeah. And the, the we, we got the ten year at the distillery. But. Copper Wolf, knows, man. This oh, is good, man. Wow. Copper Wolf 87 has a five dollar donation. Thank you, and said we have a Nulu specific. Oops, oh no, where to go? We have a Nulu specific to Louisiana. Next time I see a bottle, I'll pick you guys one up. Yeah. Thank you, Copper you Wolf 87. There, Copper Wolf, thank Gosh, you. Good. Yeah, thanks, buddy. If um, so if if you or anybody else sees like a Nulu honey barrel finish. Shoot us an email at slbdrinks at gmail dot com. We will. And Trent will start driving. Yeah, yeah. I'll start driving. <laughs> I'll start driving. We'll, you, we can meet up somewhere if you want to <laughs> ship it. Whatever works best for you. I'd be happy to we happy to definitely. toss you some money and then yeah. some for it because yeah. we love any we love any honey barrel finish that we can get our hands on. That's and I love anything really, related really to Louisiana. So good. Copper Wolf eighty seven. That's really good for it. Intriguing. I've been looking for Bell Mead honey, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that ship has sailed. I think it has. Yeah. I actually emailed Bell Mead the other day. Did you really? <laughs> Leave of course it Trent. you did. She, so, Trenton follows suit. Right? Trenton follows suit after his mother more than anybody no. I've ever known. <laughs> I just, She's I just always said forever. If you don't, if try, you right? don't ask, you don't know. I think I've heard you don't that. Get, 
You don't yeah. ask, you don't get. My apologies. You have to say it right. I have to say it right. <laughs> I've heard her say it a million times, I should have said it right. If you don't ask, you don't get. That's what she lives by. Well, so I just I just wanted to know like if they're if they're going to continue the honey barrel series sure. or, or what the deal was. Sure. They actually and Harry told me this that they they're not making Bell Mead under Bell Mead anymore. It's Nelson Brothers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nelson Brad, Green Brad or something. Nelson. Oh, Green Brad. Yeah. 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 Dunny just said Bell Mead honey is gone. So Bell yeah, Mead honey is gone. Okay, Dunny. Yeah. yeah. I I've seen it on Craigslist for a thousand bucks. I'm not going to spend a thousand. No way. I'm not going to spend a thousand okay. bucks on it. That's wild. But. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to give this giveaway one more minute, yep. so make sure you enter in, and then get that, done. that that Penelope Architect is fantastic. I haven't tried that one yet. We'll, we'll introduce this winner, and yeah, then we'll get we'll no, to the okay. Penelope. Yep. Okay. That's courtesy of, of uh, yep. old Harry here. Yep. The next one I want my brother to taste is this Penelope Architect. Thankful, thanks to Harry for providing this to us. He freaked me out when I picked that up. He texted me. He's like, he he sent me a picture of what it was. I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. And then he yeah, texted yeah. me like two minutes later. He's like, uh, I, I sold out. Wow. So I, I called him and I kind of yelled at him. <laughs> uh, Copper Wolf eighty seven another donation twenty dollars, and he says, I wish I could find the honey finish as well. Yeah. I think a lot of us wish that. Yeah, I think so too. And then I think I missed another one. Jim Layton, ten dollars. I do really like your format, but my donation is for the shipping. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thanks, Jim. All right, I'm ending the giveaway. Somebody else mentioned you on here too. Uh, Sean. Sean. Shoot, I'm so Sean sorry, Sean. I forgot you know your last name. I gotta check my computer. Your wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't know I was meeting somebody famous. I know. <laughs> Harry's a famous dude. Yeah. yeah you know that. Hey, Harry. You know, before we got here. Bees over and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and here you are. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I have to, uh, we are going to lose audio for one second. I have to add the microphone to the desktop screen in Streamlab. So if you lose audio, don't freak out. Just give me one second. <laughs> All right, we're back. No big deal. What are you saying? Making it look like he's saying something important. All right, so I'm going to close the entries here. We'll pick our first winner. Uh, the winner, uh, if you are selected, please comment in the chat. Uh, we haven't had anybody miss it yet, but I give the, the person that gets picked like two or three minutes to, to decide what they want. And then after that, how it works is that you have to email us at slbdrinks at gmail.com with your address and your proof of ID because we can't send alcohol to anybody that's not 21 um, and we can kind of go from there but I'm going to pick the first winner here Todd S Wow. Congrats Todd. Todd man. You get your pick of the three giveaways that are on the bar top right now between 1792 full proof Blanton's and Buffalo Trace so you get your first pick. I almost feel like I know what Todd's going to pick, but, you know, <laughs> I've been surprised before. It usually follows suit, but you never know. Yeah. I mean, uh, Trenton, man, you remember that time that I was at my very first raffle. Kit, you remember, too. And uh, it was in Chesterton at the Wise Guys, right? And yeah. that's how they do it. They, yeah. they hold their bottles. And they a lot of their big, bottles, yeah. They do a big raffle, and it was a lot of fun. And these people were picked like, Second of everybody, Kevin, your buddy Kevin was picked first of all things. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I remember that. And he picked some kind of, it was a pappy thing, but it was like the ten year or something. Remember? He no. What he had? Uh, it was something. The lot B. Yeah. Lot B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lot B. So these people were picked second. It was an older couple, and they went up there and they selected the Weller Special Reserve. When there was birthday bourbon, there was all sorts of stuff up there. Wow. But you know what was so sweet of that whole thing? They were thrilled. Because it was one of the, Jason, it was one of the big jugs yeah, okay. of the Wellers. <laughs> and, you know, that was just, it went Jason style. I'll take the big bottle. It was, so, it was just so sweet because, you know, they probably were in their, you know, late 60s or early 70s. Blanton's and they were just, awesome. they were thrilled with that pick. 
Todd's picked the Blanton, so you, uh, if you get picked next, 1792 Full Proof and Buffalo Trace. Congratulations, Todd. And yeah, nice, Justin West, nice $10 job. donations. Let's keep up the good work. Justin, man, that's my buddy Justin. Oh, hey, Justin. We're going to get with you soon, so we're going to do another video with Justin here real soon. Okay? Yeah, can't, seriously, Justin, good job, man. Yeah, he's yeah, in that KBS video. Yeah, he was in a KBS yeah. video. He's my buddy. We worked together for a long time. Great individual, great person, and a great family. So... Thank you, man. I appreciate it. After this winner. Uh, I'm going to draw the next winner here. Jeff P., please comment in the chat what you would like between the Buffalo Trace and the Foolproof 1792. All right. While we're doing that, I'm going to run this by you. Okay. Have you had this yet or no? no? I haven't had any of the penalties. Yeah. So this is a, it's a, like a big thing, but you know what? I never see them up here. Like Harry said, they don't really come up here. I don't see them And so here. you got this one, though. You This one, we got this one from you. Uh, just by the trailer. You yep. guys see over there in, uh, across the border? Yeah. Gotcha. Well, I, I seen uh, after you brought it up in the show, because it's, it's just something that hasn't been in front of me. Right. And uh, Can I, I got... was in Illinois for something, stopped by uh, a store up there and seen it. But I knew I was tasting it tonight, so I was like, well, no, I got I'll this... wait and see what it's all about. I got this barrel strength in uh, Bardstown, in their, actually in their gift shop. Okay. This is where I got this one from. So you don't see them up here. I, yeah, I don't see them. Up but this one here is uh, it's called Architect, and it's finished in French oak staves. So it's kind of like you get a little bit of that uh, Maker's Mark thing with that oak stave stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to have him try this one real quick. It's right here. Absolutely. See what he thinks of that. There's a lot of sweet oak on that one, Kent. Let's see what you think. Jeff, please type in the chat Very which one you notes. want between Buffalo Trace and 1792 Full Proof, and then we'll draw the last winner. I see he said yay, but I'm Oops. Yeah, I saw he said yay. Jeff yeah. P. We're Jeff. just waiting on which bottle he wants. Our most recent winner. Thank you, Jeff. Congratulations, buddy. That's a whole different vibe, isn't it? It's just really different, but it's... It's, it's like apple. Got oh. the apple one we got apple on. Mm -hmm. A little Do baked we, apple. And I'm curious on the... Uh, can you give that to Michelle? Um, I'm curious on the mash bill on that. Yeah, I, I don't even know. It's, have to look it's very it. sweet. It's Assuming sweet. there's a lot of corn. But it's got a real nice sweet oak to it, too, with the influence of the uh, oak staves. Mm -hmm. I could like be way off by saying that with the corn, but usually that sweet, yeah. typically it's higher corn. Yeah. Because um, that's very, very sweet. I like it. Jeff, we're just still waiting on. Yeah, Jeff, we're still waiting on you, bud. If you could please just let me know which one you want. I gotta pick the next winner here. Thank you. You know what I mean? It's, there's mm. a heavy sweetness there. Yeah. Very. Um, pretty good. It's really, yeah, really good. It is good. I mean, honestly, it's good. It's got, got some real nice oak influence to it, but the nose is sweet really oak. sweet. Nose. Mm. Well. Jeff, I gotta give you like. Maybe two more minutes until we gotta yeah. until we gotta pick another winner here. I'd hate to pass on you because you I see you typed, but I need I need a I need an answer from you. Um, have you had CBS from Founders? You're yeah. a pretty big beer guy. Well, is it? Yes, I am, but uh, usually not that kind of beer. I, okay. I'm pretty boring in my beer categories. Uh, I have had it, uh, but I'm more on the lighter end of things with beer. I'm, so you're not into the stouts and the things that I learned in the last video. The, the meal in a glass is meal in a glass. Uh, typically not my thing, but yeah. hey, uh, there's a huge Jeff. following for it. Jeff, uh, Jeff, the Blantons has already been uh, claimed, so I um, Buffalo Trace Buffalo and 1792 yep. Full Proof would be your two choices, Jeff. 1792 Full Proof or Buffalo Trace. He says he has Buffalo Trace. I'd go with the 1792 Full Proof. Brother, it's me. It's good, bro. I mean, honestly, and it's hard to find. Yeah. It's not. It's not easy. To, it's not easy to find. Kirk, That's for sure. Oh, sorry. Kirk Vilhauer, five dollar donation. Thank you. I hope I said your last name right. Sorry if I didn't. I'm sure you said it better than I could. <laughs> I have butchered some last names on these live shows. I feel terrible. I know, I so, yeah. Brother, hey man. <laughs> Welcome to my world. So I get. To yeah. Uh, we have a pretty interesting review coming out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We've never done a Saturday video. Mm. This is a just a bourbon review. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that every once in a while. Trent and I talked, and we're going to throw out a just a simple bourbon review every so often and, and add it to what we normally do. Right? Yep. So, out of curiosity, is it what I tasted earlier tonight? Nope. 
Okay. It's not. It's not down here. Okay. I forgot to bring. Yeah, it. I was gonna give okay. you a sample, but I forgot yeah, I just to bring. It. Yeah, Jeff. Um, choice of three, but how it works is that we have we have three bottles. You were chosen second. The first person, uh, Todd S, picked the Blanton, so now we only have 1792 full proof and Buffalo Trace left. Correct. So just let me know which one you want, and I'll pick the next winner, and we can we can complete this this raffle. Are we um, doing merch giveaway? Yeah, we're gonna do a merch giveaway too. Uh, we I'm still waiting for the Glen Cairns to come back in stock. I think with you know supply chain issues and stuff, we're having a bit of an issue getting our vendors having a bit of an issue getting those made. But I'm hoping to have those in the next couple of weeks. So if when we do the uh, when we do the merch giveaway, if you ch you're more than welcome to choose a Glen Karen, you just might get it a couple of weeks in advance. Uh, I've okay. literally said 1792 like three times. Well, I didn't show Sorry, up. Sorry, so. I didn't see it, Jeff. Uh, Streamlabs didn't pick it up either. Yeah. So take All right. This, right. Yeah, take that out. Okay, okay, Jeff. Thanks, buddy. Sorry about that. We didn't pick it up on that. 1792, excellent choice. You All right. Trust me, you won't oh, be disappointed. You very, very good. Well, Sorry, and then good. one stellar girl, uh, you get the Buffalo Trace, so please Trace. just say anything in the chat so I know that you're here, and then we can we can close out the raffle. Uh, Jeff. All right, Jeff picked the 1792. Didn't see that. All right. <laughs> That's cool. And then one stellar girl, please just type in the chat anything, and then anybody that gets picked for any raffle tonight, uh, please email us at slbdrinks at gmail.com with your address and proof of ID, and we can get that sent out to you within the next within the next couple days. You want to move on to the merch or no? But I gotta wait till I close this one out, and then we can we can go into the merch. But okay, what I poured for my brother to check is Jack Daniel's. Okay. Trenton found this one, Jack Daniel's Sinatra bottle. Um, I've seen this over the years. I've just never picked it up. Um, yeah, you've talked about it for a while. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. a place in Michigan City that had a Sinatra bottle and a Century bottle. But he had it up on the counter for like $500 just for the Century bottle alone. And I'm not going to pay that. As yeah. you know, I'm not going to do that. I gave him an offer for the Sinatra and the Century, and he told me no way. So he sold to somebody because it's not there no longer. So I kind of just out of sight, out of mind. So... For me on this one, Ken, I find it very sweet at the front of the palate. Um, not really caramel and toffee type thing, but a lot of like raisin and fig and things like that kind of to me. But I feel in the finish it kind of disappears, so I'm curious to what you think about the Sinatra bottle from Jack Daniels. Real quick, I'm going to start the Interrupt. I'm going to start the merch giveaway. Interrupt. Same thing, exclamation point raffle. I'll just rapid fire these off. You just let me know what you want in the chat if you get picked, and then no email, right? Yeah, and then you'll email us at slbdrinks at gmail.com. You don't have to let us know in the chat what you want. Just say anything, right? Yep, my bad. Is, yeah. Yep, just let us know that you're here in the chat, and then email us with what you'd like and what your email address is. You can find out what we have in terms of our merch at slbdrinks.com. Um, like I said, our Glen Cairns are sold out. We plan on getting those in again soon, so you can pick that if you want. Uh, it just might be a couple weeks before you receive it. Anything else should ship within five five business days. So I'll give that. Uh, let's see. I'll give that maybe another seven minutes. Exclamation point raffle, and then. So what did you think of Sinatra? I do. I know Jason. You did, <coughs> Carrie, did you have any of this too? Jason. Just Jason. Yeah. You thought it was pretty sweet too up front, or? Yeah. Yeah. I. Like you said, it died off real. It seems like the finish is kind of just quick. It yeah. just goes no, away. No, no, no. Very sweet uh, up front. Do you have the book? A little different kind of flavor. Uh, the finish. The flavor of the finish disappears quick, and then you have. There's definitely some spice on the tongue that yep. sticks there, mm -hmm. but as far as the flavor, it's gone like that. Right. Yeah, it's I, a good flavor, I like the but flavor it's though. Quick. Yeah, it, it yeah. is. It's, it's very quick. nice. It's it's kind of sweet, yeah. and not really your caramel and toffee and brown sugar and those. You know, it's right. a little different than that yeah. to me. Yeah, and which is nice because you want, you know, yeah, different sort of sugary like a. And you know, I just drank it like a candy sweet. It was a, a different sweet. Correct. Candy. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you on that. 100%. I would I would call that dark fruit, but as we've talked about before, I don't eat fruit, so <laughs> I can't I can't pit, uh, pick out exact <laughs> which dark fruit you're speaking of. There. That's okay. I didn't name a pear over there. I call it fruit. Right? I'm a really healthy guy, Harry. <laughs> He's a meat potato guy. Yeah. I take vitamins. 
<laughs> That's a good thing. I want him to taste one more. And I know we're going to bounce a little bit here, but there's a scotch right behind you. It's the Edredor 10 year, which I think is one of my best. You told me about this before the show. I think it's one down, down from Ardbeg to oh. that shelf down there somewhere. Oh, it starts with an E? Yeah. Got it. I may have helped uh, Kurt get started in the in the bourbon part of things, but what's been nice for me is I'm pretty early on in my scotch purchases, and uh, Kurt's gotten pretty deep into it. It's pretty nice to get taste from him and uh, kind of decide what I like, what I don't like, and uh, that's been very helpful for me not to do it the way I started bourbon and. Oh, that's a cool bottle, and get home and go, oh, man. <laughs> I did that with Willa Pot still. Oh, Lord, help us all. I think most people do I think, I think a lot of people have gotten stung on the Willa Pot still. It's a great looking bottle. It is. Well, I think, me personally, for a more budgetary type scotch bottle, so 50, 60 bucks, okay. um, this, this Edredor 10-year Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, I, I heard about it. I read up a little bit about it. It's really hard to find. I finally found it. I think I found it in Arizona, to tell you the truth. Honey, did we find this in Arizona? The Edredor? Like, I'm going to remember that. <laughs> I think we did, and we brought it back with remember us. Remember the but... great flavors of that? Yeah, remember that, babe? You don't remember like, that? We were talking about donuts or cake or something. <laughs> what? Not that. <laughs> but anyways, I, I feel, Ken, honestly, I feel... Okay. This is like one of now, the one of the best additions. You know on, what I bought? Budget type yesterday in the bar because of a taste I had down here. Yeah, it's nice. you put it with that. Now he's speaking of Glen Allocky Twelve Year, which is ridiculous. I had a taste down here, and I've been looking for it ever since. Yeah. I finally got it yesterday. It's so good. It's so good. It's different because that has a lot of sherry influence on the Glen Allocky Twelve. Completely smells different. Or so nose is different. It's a lot different, but to me, it's just it's just got a remarkable flavor to it. To me. For me. 86 proof, Kit. Seems like a lot of people have entered, so I'll give it like one more minute. One more minute on the merch raffle. So another one I have to start looking for. Isn't that's, it good? It's so good. Yeah, Isn't it good? It's really good. Jason, you drink scotch at all? Can I try? That's so good. Not, no, not, not so much? Bad. Scotch is nasty, man. <laughs> Bro, come on now. Trenton, you know, we, he's Harry, like... Harry, do you like scotch? I used to drink scotch with pork. Yeah. 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 Not so much. I like any kind of whiskey, but I can't go, I can't stay with the flavor. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. 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 Tuxedo Toolbox wants to know what SLB stands for. Okay, Toolbox? here's the deal. Yeah. Kent knows too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, SLB stands for Strong Like Bull. Okay, that originated for our mother. Who, Trust me, she's strong like bull. Tr yeah. <laughs> Kent is not lying. How old is she now? 83, 84, she's something like that? She's going to be 83 this year. 83. Shortly. Unfortunately, my father passed away in 1997, and that was heartbreaking for all of us. But, however, my brother and I wanted to do the right thing, right? So we wanted to help our mom out. Um, we both showed up on different times to mow the lawn and help out. But within, like, two or three weeks, she fired us both. She We're said, doing it right. Yeah, she said, get out, you're not doing a good enough job. That's exactly yeah. what she That's said. Exact words. Don't come back because you're not doing a good enough job. She can out, well, she's 84 or 83 years old right now. She could outwork the two of us oh, yeah. tomorrow. Yes. And yeah. that's the truth. She still takes care of her own house, her own yard. She uh, just dealt with 15 bags of black dirt. 15 black. She shovels her own snow. I, I, I tell her all the time, Mom, we have boys all over this family. Why are you doing that? You know, but she just. But she's she'd ordered. have to get up at three in the morning to beat her to it. <laughs> yeah. So you can't. Her yard you can't. looks like it belongs in a magazine. Yes, it's a magazine. It's yes. beautiful. Mike Walker says I agree with Trenton about scotch. See. No. See, well, you know, anyways, get that back. I do really agree. Good. It's probably a, a like or, or love it or hate it, but yeah. Yeah, I love it. I really yeah, like that. I like single malt. Her, you didn't this like it good. though. It's good. And Jason, being not a much of a scotch guy, this was. It's really good. Yeah. And, and Rebecca, you're chiming in too. And I and she said, I didn't really like it at first, but one of the first ones I've tried that I tried was like a peated, like a heavily Ooh. peated scotch. Yeah. So that was like, wow, that's like a shock to the system. Um, like I said in the recent video, How to Drink Scotch, I was recommended by the guy I worked with in the mill for the Glen Morangy 10 year. And with that, with the Highland, you know, it's just a simple Highland, Highland single malt. 
it was a lot easier transition to work my way through it. But I love the pita stuff now. That's my wife's stinky whiskey. <laughs> anyways, back to the strong leg bowl. So anyways, the name originated is strong leg bowl. It's SLB. So after 2008 and 09, I'm in the construction business. Been that way. Kent was too forever when he was younger. My dad was forever. You know, we're actually drywall guys is what we do. And um, 2008 and 09 was ridiculously brutal on the housing crisis and the, and, the, and the crash. So I ended up getting a job for 10 and a half years as a shift supervisor in the steel mill where my brother works now. He's actually in the slab yard, does a fantastic job there. So I was working two jobs for quite some time. So the kids actually named this bar SLB, Basement Bourbon Bar, and it stands for Strong Light Bowl, but it's actually an ode to my mother who can work us both under the table. <laughs> Trust me. I gotta tell a little bit of funny story. Go ahead. Joe. Real quick. Go ahead. We have a two dollar donation from Jeff P. Thank you. I'm gonna close the the raffle for the merch. Jeff P. was the winner of ours. Jeff P. was the winner of the 1792. I'm gonna switch to the desktop real quick. Close this. We'll pick a winner. Kristen Cosmerl. Kristen, please email or just type anything in the chat and then email us at SLB Drinks and let us know what you'd like as well as your address so we can send it to you. We have Kristen. We also, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I just did a bad thing, I think. What? I think I just ended the giveaway on accident. Oh. Well, <laughs> I got to start it again. Womp womp. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> See if you can keep an eye out for Kristen in the chat. Yeah, I am. Exclamation point raffle one more time. I'm sorry, guys. I screwed that up. I guess the barrel proof wasn't a good one. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking pretty good, but your fingers are a lightweight, Jason. Yep, I guess so. <laughs> your fingers are doing what they're supposed to do. Oh, Kristen says thanks, so she's all good. Okay, Kristen, yeah, shoot us an email, um, yeah. and then we'll do, the ra we'll do the raffle one more time. This is just for two... This is just for two items from the... Or two people can win this one. I'll do this for like four minutes and then we gotta we gotta move on. Yeah. I, I apologize to everybody that already entered. You gotta do it again. Stonewall Jackson says, "Hey Kurt, watching from work. Don't tell the foreman." <laughs> <laughs> I won't say a word. Yeah. I will not say a word. <laughs> you got a story? Yeah. Well, just real quick. Um, next month, you guys will be down in my bar. Uh, I'm excited Hopefully. about that. Very very excited about that. Uh, I was pretty bummed out that I couldn't get it wrapped up uh, for this one, but. In uh, talking about the name for our bar, uh, which we have a name that I'll explain uh, that night. That's really, really cool. Yep. But I was joking around with with my wife, and I said, what's stronger than a bull? <laughs> and uh, so I was like, strong like bison. <laughs> so I was going to come up with a, a fake sign and put it up and just to mess hey. with him, and that would be SLB, strong like bison. There you go. <laughs> That's hey, I didn't name it. The kids named it, right? That, you, you were involved. Well, in our well, kids I made named that it. thing behind you. Does it, it, is yeah. that what started it? You made that behind me here. No, the kids actually. Honey, Kayla, do you remember? I feel no. like we've been calling you SLB for like a long time. Yeah, long time. it just kind of. I remember you guys. Since I worked two jobs for 10 years, you know, the <laughs> SLB, the Strong Light Bowl kind of follows suit to me just because my mom, she didn't retire until she was 77. She worked two jobs. She worked 40 years at one job, and then she worked 40 20 years. 20 years at Walmart. Apologize. 20 years at Walmart, and then 20 years at another job. Yeah. She retired when she was 77. 77? 77. Yeah. No way. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. And so, yeah, we, we just can't keep well, it. Oh, yeah, a couple years to go, Jason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have some more bourbon, my friend. The guys at the mill that are 70 something <laughs> Absolutely. But I'll tell you what, my mom works. Like he's my buddy Jason works a lot of hours. My mom works those kind of hours in her yard. In her, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's kind of it really is. It's just like a it's really she's, she's not very uh oh she's a tough woman. Yeah. yeah she, Somebody just called the local PD. They're on a they're coming for a welfare check on me. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, someone named Andrew D said Harry hooked me up with a Caribou Crossing today. So excited to open it. So oh, great. Oh, nice. Good for you. Yeah, that Do you know who that yeah. is? Yeah. I'll tell you what that is. Oh, you did? <laughs> hey, listen. The, uh, Caribou awesome. Crossing is about as easy drinker as you'll ever have. It's like a Canadian version of it. Well, it's Canadian, yeah, yeah, but it's just easy drinker, no bite, smooth as can be. Let me just say, real, real Do you quick. want to get on the camera? 
Let me, let me yes, share. up there. I think you should go up there. <laughs> I'll go, bro. He's let, like, no. Let me just say real quick. Harry owns Bees Liquors in Albert. He owns other places too, Chicago and whatnot. But he's very accommodating. What I found mostly about Harry is extremely accommodating to each individual that walks in. Not every individual wants to pay $100 for a bottle, right? So Harry takes as much time and effort for somebody who, when they walk in, they want to spend $30 on something they want to they want to think is a pretty good whiskey, bourbon, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. He takes as much time with each individual as any other store I have ever seen. So he does a fantastic job taking care of his customers. That's except sure. except when I ask for a pappy and he tells me to go bite the curb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can only do so much, right, Aaron? <laughs> I, think I, had I walked in right when you got the pappy and you're like, I can't sell it to you. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I think that was the first time, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Second. Second. All right. I'm gonna can I'm gonna not I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna cancel the raffle. I'm gonna close the raffle. Don't do that again. I'm not gonna do this right. again, I promise. <laughs> All right, so we have wow. two winners to pick. The first winner, Bert, how do you say that? I don't know, hold on. Bearded, oh, Bearded knock, Noxery? Bearded Noxery. Man. Is that you, Jason? No, it's not me. <laughs> bearded Noxery. We got a ZZ it's top looking sure. guy. <laughs> uh, bearded Noxery, please just type in the chat and then email us uh, what you would like as well as your uh, address. I'm going to pick one more before I close this. Last one is, oh, Kab Kaboomerang Finch. I don't think you actually ended it because... I ended it, yeah. People are still receiving tickets. Oh, no, the, the bot gets backed up since there's so many entries. Uh, Bearded Noxery says score. Bearded Noxery, congrats. Just shoot me an email. We'll get we'll get over to you, whatever you pick. And then uh, Kaboomerang Finch, just waiting on yours. Be sure to... Um, I know we don't normally post videos on Saturday, but just be sure to check out our yeah. video tomorrow. Yeah, and you know what? Morning, I'm putting it out at 7 a.m. If you guys have an opinion on what day you want to see an extra video, because we might do this once or twice a month. Trenton is only doing it on Saturday because the live show came in here on Friday and didn't want to be confusing. So I don't want a simple bottle review to take over one of our Monday and Thursday slots. So if you guys have an idea or a preference on a day, Trent usually has them scheduled to come out at 7 a.m. I'm not saying Still waiting on Kaboomerang Finch. I'll give you like maybe two more minutes and then I gotta pick somebody else for this for the next. Uh, for oh, the... hey, thanks, guys. Come okay, he, says, he said something? Yeah, but it's still popping. Okay, so cool. All right, that mark says complete. If you won something, please shoot me an email at slbdrinks at gmail.com. And that's all we got for the giveaways. All right, we're good? Yep. That's all we have for you tonight, guys. I'll tell you what, I, I had a fantastic time. Ken, I don't know if you just either. I knew this was going to be difficult. You know, all of us kind of picked up on this Penelope, which is, is actually, if you had it on, on its own, it's a pretty oh, oh, decent yeah. pour. I'm not knocking it. Dude. But we all kind of picked Very up. Very young to the rest of it. We all picked up that it was a little bit young yeah. to the rest of it. But I knew this was going to be difficult. I, I am surprised a little bit that this Larceny is Me down too. here in five because it's... it's I haven't is, had that batch. Yeah. But every batch I've had has been so good. That I think that's my surprised. only surprise of the whole show, to be honest with you. I knew our beloved wild turkey rare breed would have a tough time stacking up with this Jack Daniels and the Elijah Craig, and I didn't know where this this uh, 1792 foolproof would come into play. But I'm a little bit surprised. I really love this uh, Larceny, uh, this uh, barrel proof here, A122. So. We had a great time next month. Mark it on your calendar already. For sure this time. Last <laughs> Friday. Last Friday at 7 p.m. Month at 7 p.m. For sure this time. We're going to be at Kent's house. We're going to be popping corks on all kinds of different Blanton's <laughs> bottles that I've never even seen before. I don't even think you've even shown me these bottles in your basement, to tell you the truth. Yeah. So, May 27th. Yep. Is that what it is, honey? Thank yeah. you. May 27th. It's going to be a great show. I'm going to be really looking forward to that because there's so many. I'm looking forward to it, too, because yeah, you haven't even tasted it's taken me a couple of years to get this collection so, together. And it's I going to be great. I haven't tasted them, Mary. It's really. You should come to that one, too. Yeah. It's going to be. Okay. Have some taste. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to do that. We'll be giving away a Blanton's Black or a Red Label, which are, are those Japanese-only releases? 
right? Yeah. So we're going to be giving away a Japanese-only release, Blanton's. We're only giving away one thing, but it's a pretty high dollar, pretty cool bottle. So make sure you... Hard to get, that's for hard sure. Hard to get, yeah. yeah. Not, I didn't, I'm not traveling to Japan to get one. It's taken me a long time to put this little collection yep. together. Yep. <laughs> you heard said, yep. pop and corks. <laughs> yeah, I laughed at that too. That was pretty hey, hilarious. That's how it rolls in our house. Uh -huh. Pop and corks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when you get my age, you just never know what's going to come out of it. That's the way it goes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Kent, thanks, man. Oh, it's awesome. I always have a, a great time. time with you down here, man. It's always a good time doing these live shows. Guys, thanks for visiting with us tonight. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Harry, thanks for being here. Lala, thanks, honey. Thanks for coming down. We'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar on Saturday. Well, should, we, should we throw it out there or not? Sure. Go ahead. You, you go know. ahead. I don't remember what it is. That's the problem. <laughs> Too many full brews. We're going to be reviewing the old Fitzgerald 17-year 22 Ooh, right. spring release wow. yeah, and guys, tomorrow morning. And let me just tell you something. Let me wow. just give you this right now. Nice. It's, it's the best one I've ever had so far. Nice. Today. So you to do opening check that out on Saturday. <laughs> Coming up on Saturday. Thanks for checking in with us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. See you next time. Drink responsibly. Take care. <laughs> Ha <laughs>